I think it was last year, I was standing in the shower one morning and I thought, gee, I really better think about what I want to do when I grow up. And, and you know, and, and suddenly I had this, Betsy, you want to grow up? At, well, from the time I was a little kid, all I wanted to do was read. I learned to read when I was very young. My mother took me to the library every weekend to pick my books for the week. And when I was bigger, I used to take my bicycle and go to the bike go to the library on my bike and the librarians were very good to me they they uh, instead of the three books that you were allowed to take each time that you went out they knew how fast I read and that I was came a mile and a half or more on my bike so they would let me take as many as I could put in my bike basket. I was 55 when I opened the store and I'm 73 now and I do think sometimes that I should be thinking about retirement but there's so many parts of the business that I do enjoy. It's, it's kind of hard not to think of being the owner of Buttonwood. It was a much simpler store when I opened it and it's evolved over the years so that we not only sell so many books and toys but also do a lot of events. Um, book. Uh, events with uh, authors for coffees and lunches and breakfasts. Able to do my own um, design for it. They asked us to pay for it, but uh, it was well worth it to me because I was able to, instead of having their industrial lighting, able to choose my lighting and able to design the store so that the ceiling was lowered in certain areas to give a little more warmth or to cut down on noise or to make it uh, a welcoming place for both older people and for the little kids so that people could sit and read in the reading area and not be disturbed by children that were playing on the trains in the toy area. And like bookstores everywhere, we increasingly have to bring in sidelines, what are called sidelines, other things that are appropriate to sell in a bookstore, like book lights, we sell loads of book lights. We have a very strong reading card area. I have people who come a long way to buy handfuls of cards at a time. And um, believe it or not, it's my older women who are the ones that are most willing to choose the slightly risque cards to give to each other. They just get a kick out of the ones that kind of make fun of old women and, and aging. Uh, so, And we bring in things like World of Goods, which is uh, um, an organization that buys its product from women in small cooperatives in Cambodia and India and, and Thailand and so forth and those their shawls and some of their woven goods of this summer. So I took Water for Elephants by Sarah Gruen to the Cape one weekend and I absolutely loved it. I didn't think I'd want to read about a circus but I it, it's, it's, it was a terrific book and beautifully written. I finished a book called Starbucks Saved My Life. I read it out loud to my husband on the way to the Cape last week. It's about a man who lost his job at 53 in advertising, lost his wife too after an affair and then ended up taking a job in a Starbucks just as a, a barista and cleaning the toilets and so forth and it's a fascinating look inside um, both advertising agencies and particularly Starbucks and I read uh, Sweet Francaise.